Well, it looks like the 9-11 cover-up marches on. Here is a Infowars story by Steve Watson. Federal judge throws out Saudi 9-11 involvement case. U.S. District Judge George Daniels claims not enough substantial evidence links Saudi elites to the terrorist attacks. Gee, I wonder why. They keep it all hidden in the 28 redacted pages of the 9-11 Commission report. The uh, allegations in the complaint alone do not provide this court with a basis to assert jurisdiction over the defendants. Daniel's filing notes. The broad allegations turned in large part on speculative opinions. Daniel's concluded that there is no conclusive proof that Saudi leaders financed the attacks by funneling money to Al-Qaeda operatives. The judge ruled, therefore, that the country still has sovereign immunity in the case. Daniels also rejected testimony from the so-called 20th hijacker, Zacharias Mazzoli, who has claimed under oath that a Saudi prince financed his flight school studies, as well as that of the other 19 hijackers. I wrote about this in an article for TheDailyResistance.com back in June called Rain the Paul Heats Up Secret 9-11 Documents. This is when Paul was introducing legislation called the Transparency for the Families of 9-11 Act, which would have forced Obama's hand in opening up the 28 redacted pages of the 9-11 Commission Report. In this article, Al-Qaeda terrorist Muzawi says that he was tasked by Al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden with creating a digital database of the terror group's donors and that his list included members of the Saudi royal family. As reported by CNN, Muzawi also claimed to have met with members of the royal family in Saudi Arabia and hand-delivered letters from bin Laden. CNN also reported in February that the 28 pages focus on the role of foreign governments in the plot. President Obama has promised to declassify the 28 pages. And he hasn't kept his word, Representative Walter Jones said to the Daily Beast. Kentucky Representative Thomas Massey said in a press conference last year that reading the 28 pages was shocking and that he had to stop every couple of pages to try to rearrange my understanding of history. And never mind the fact that on 9-11, after all the air traffic had been grounded, the White House made one exception when 140 Saudi nationals, including 24 members of the bin Laden family, were safely whisked away back to Saudi Arabia without even being interrogated. And of course, 14 of the alleged 19 hijackers that day were all from where? Saudi Arabia. But did we go and invade Saudi Arabia? No, of course not. And also never mind that then President George W. Bush was seen holding hands with then Saudi Prince on his personal ranch in Texas. And remember, Bush said you are either with the terrorists or you're against them. Uh, back to the 28 pages, Walter Jones said, I don't know if it might be embarrassing to the Bush administration how close they were to the Saudi family. He said, I just don't know. I can't put my fingers on it. Now, the Associated Press reports that a lawyer for the 9-11 families has vowed to appeal the decision to remove Saudi Arabia as a defendant in the lawsuit. Evidence central to these claims continues to be treated as classified, Sean Carter said. The government's decision to continue to classify that material certainly factored into this outcome. This is Caleb Hitt signing off for the Battle of New Orleans radio show and thedailyresistance.com. Wake up, resist daily, or become a slave.